Hello and welcome to another video from DIY PC Repairs and in this one we're going to take a look at upgrading Windows 7 to Windows 8 Pro. Now I've already bought the copy of Windows and the key from Microsoft Store, I've downloaded it and we're now going to take a look at how we can either install or create the install media. So we've got three options, we can install now which we just click next, we'll go into the install um, but what I like to do, I like to create the media disk so that you've got a disk or you can install later from your desktop. So what we're going to look at in this one to start with, I'm just going to create a media disk. So I make that selection and click next. It's then going to ask me whether I want to use a USB flash drive or make a ISO image. I want an image. So I'll click save. Okay, it's now going to ask me where I want to make the image. So just for this I'm going to put it on a desktop. So we select desktop. You can see that the file name is Windows. We click save. And that's now going to create the ISO image. Okay, so once we've created the ISO image, if we double click on the image, it's going to bring up the Windows Disk Image Burner. All we do is just select Burn. You can put a tick into the box to verify disk afterwards, but to be honest, you probably won't have any issue. So we're now going to burn the disk, and then we'll carry on with the install once we've finished. Right, now that we've created our install media, what we're going to do is we're going to drop the disk in and begin the install of Windows 8 Pro. Now you're going to need your Windows key during the installation, so have that ready. Okay, so we've got the auto player that's popped up here, so we're going to run the setup. Left clicking, and then we've got user account control. Click yes. This is going to begin the installation of Windows 8. I'm going to pause the video at times through this so that we don't make too big a video. But I'll cover all the main key points of the installation of the upgrade. Okay, so when we start off the installation, we're going to be asked to go online and install updates or no thanks. We may as well go online and get whatever updates are available now. So it's now going to check for updates. So once it's checked for updates and restarted the install, we're now going to be asked for our product key. So we're going to enter that now. Okay, so once we've put our product key in and it's been checked, we'll now go on to the license terms. We click accept, click accept there. You can read those through if you like. Um, I've read them a few times. So this is where we get the choice of what we're going to leave on the computer. Now the first choice is keep Windows settings, personal files and applications. Basically this is just going to update with everything in place and you're not going to have to reinstall any applications as long as they are compatible with Windows 8 Pro. The second option we get that we can only keep personal files, so it's going to, in it's going to delete any installed programs but leave things such as photos, music, favourites, things like that. As long as they're in their default folders on Windows 7, they will still be in Windows 8, but make sure they are where Windows likes them. And if they're not, just back your files up. It's the safest way to do it. And then we get the third option of keeping nothing. This will wipe the slate clean. We'll start with a nice, fresh system. So for this, I'm going to use Keep Personal Files Only. I'm going to click Next. So now we're told that we're ready to install Windows 8 Pro and keep personal files only. And then you'll see that we have an install button. So we click on install. The installation of Windows 8 Pro will begin. And as I say, I'm going to pause this video just to cut down on time. Once the main install of Windows 8 has been completed and the files have all been extracted and installed, we'll start going into the preparation phase before we start Windows up for the first time. Okay, so once we get through the install, we're now going to be asked to personalise our Windows 8 start screen. Don't worry too much at the moment, you can pick a colour scheme now and we can always change this later. I'm going to go for the, uh, I think we'll stay with that, blue, purple. So once you've picked the colour you like, we can click next. Now this is going to ask us to um, alter a few settings. You can never read through this, it's um, automatic installs of um, important updates, protecting your PC, just the general things. We're going to use the Express. You can customise that but for, for now and for ease of setup, we're just going to use the Express settings. Now we're going to be asked to sign into our computer. So go ahead and enter your email address for your Windows or Microsoft Live account. One thing to note here, as you are going to put in your email address, you may find that as I am here, my at sign is actually quotation marks. And that's because I'm currently set for a US keyboard. So the way we get around that is just use the shift and number two key and that'll give us this at sign for now we can always change this later so once we've put in our account email address we'll just click next it's now going to ask for a password for that account so we put that in and click next it's now going to ask for some security info such as telephone number and an alternative email address and then once we've done that we'll click next it's now going to create our account 
We're now going to get a few messages from Microsoft showing us how Windows 8 is going to be different from what you used to with Windows 7. And you can see now it's going to ask us to do certain tasks. We'll cover this in some later videos. And again, another message. We're getting your PC ready. Okay, there we go. Windows 8 Pro all installed. Microsoft's getting very good at making this install quite painless now. There's a few things that we need to clean up now that we've installed Windows 8 Pro and we'll cover that in the next video. So for now that's how we install Windows 8 Pro upgrade and I'd like to thank you for watching.